and welcome to MGP429. I'm Kevin with me as ever, the Sheepdog, Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Between the three of you, yeah. that was the worst timing you've ever done. Yeah. We've got two of you going at exactly the same time. That threw me. And then one of you apparently forgot to say it hello. threw me. That's and then... what it was. <laughs> what happened there? I just wanted to say I'm hello. A... I'm a little bit thrown because I think the new thing that I've set up on my computer completely ignored our clap sync. Yeah, <laughs> when I, I clapped, I don't think anything happened. Um, I've got this NVIDIA uh, super duper thing installed that um, if I can I can bang a cup down on my table and it won't make a noise. I don't know if you heard that. But um, <laughs> that don't, might have don't been really forget, ironic if you did. Anna and Sheepdog, don't forget, if it didn't record it, it's Pab's problem. So it doesn't yeah. really matter. I mean, I'll he can I'll work it out check. from the hellos. Yeah, I, I think funny. in future weeks, I'm just going to kind of go bang and there'll just be a line there and you can work it out from there, <laughs> Pabby. But I mean, we're too far into the podcast now to start again. So let's roll. I agree. I concur. I've got a bone to pick with Pab anyway. Mm. Two bones, in fact. It's a dub- We've got a double boner, Pab. This is not acceptable. Sorry? Um, you heard... Because you bought an Xbox last week, <laughs> we had to buy Xboxes this week. So we I spent all weekend looking for an Xbox Series X in stock anywhere. Couldn't find any, so it got to Sunday night. I just went on Amazon, bought Anna a Series S. You can only put one in the basket because it's limited to one per customer. So I then went back through the checkout to buy myself one, and it wouldn't let me. So I had to buy myself an Xbox Series S plus £20 of <laughs> Xbox Live credit, which you are allowed to buy because that's an entirely different product. So I ordered a couple of Xbox Series S's that arrived on Tuesday. And then, lo and behold, this afternoon, when I was on Shop 2, ordering Mario Golf, which is sold out on Amazon, the wow. physical copy, um, I went on Shop 2 to order it. They've got Xbox Series X's in mm. stock. So... Mm. Not only have you forced you me have? to buy two Series S's with your shenanigans, you've done it immediately before the X is back in stock and you're, we could have got one of those. You're just impatient, Kevin. No, clearly. I won't be patient. You are impatient. That is all I that am is, impatient. That is, this, is, this, is, this is your fault, all your fault, because there are at least, I think, probably Xbox stock every day last week. This past week, there's been stock everywhere and I've seen it. Mm. To be honest, I would have got the S anyway because I don't need the X and Anna is claiming that she's happy with the decision we made. Um, I don't know if she still she? will be six months down the line. Everything the is, moment, you know, the you're... thing is, everything is, comes out on day one and anything that isn't on a, a Game Pass, I buy on play, PlayStation 5. Yeah. So... At the moment, Anna is running the party line that it is just a Game Pass machine, in which case it didn't need a disk drive. It didn't need whatever else it supposedly does. So I think we've effectively got almost two consoles for the price of one Series X because the Series X is four fifty, the S is two fifty, and I'm not pay. I wouldn't have wanted to pay the extra two hundred pound just for a disc drive and not a lot else that's different. So I think I'm probably comfortable with what we've done, but we've had to do it now because of you, and that frustrates me, Pab, because. I, I got it. I got it all set up. Do you know what I've downloaded on it? Let's play <laughs> Guess What Games Kev's got on his um, Xbox. Did you try Football Manager and FIFA? Yes and yes. And there's <laughs> one more. No, would it be a Forza style game? Yes. In fact, there's a fourth one as well. Skyrim? So you've got, you've got the f- no, not Skyrim. Oh. You're not rimming on it yet? I'm not rimming on it yet, no. It's got an update, Shocking. Kevin. I might rim on it at some point. But it's a big commitment. I'm still rimming on my Switch rimming. at the moment. Uh, uh, no, the fo- the fourth game is Minecraft. So I've downloaded uh, FIFA, uh, Football Manager, Forza Horizon 4, and Minecraft. Do you know what's unique about all of those games, Pabby? Um, you've played them out. They're available on the previous console. They're- I already own all of them multiple times. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Kevin. So yeah, I can yeah, confirm like FIFA. Man. I can confirm next gen FIFA on the Xbox is exactly the same as next gen FIFA on the <laughs> PS5, which is exactly the same as previous gen 
uh, FIFA on the PS4 and previous gen FIFA on the Xbox One and previous gen FIFA on the PC, all of which I own. Um, I can confirm Minecraft is the same across all devices. Um, I can confirm Football Manager is still dross on the Xbox. Um, and I can confirm Forza is still great, but I won't have time to play it. So, yeah, I'm ho really happy with my purchase. <laughs> Anna, how about you? Yeah, fine. I've played. I've played. I've played uh, Tetris, that Tetris game, which is... Yes. That's all right, but I was very tired, so I didn't get really that into it. But it's very nice. It's very colourful. And I uh, started and then deleted. Uh, oh no, I, start, I started Halo. But Halo is. Why? Because I've never played it. I've never played Halo in my life. Um, That's not true because me and you nearly split up when we were playing Halo yeah, together. Yeah, but we played it. We played that <laughs> that uh, multiplayer game. Um, was it was it you, Sheepdog, who was with us, or was it Shortstay? We were playing multiplayer Halo, and Anna got so annoyed with me. That I, it was before we lived together, so she was in Nottingham and I was in Peterborough. She got so annoyed with me, she turned it off. just left the party chat, turned it off, wouldn't answer her phone. <laughs> she was furious. I, I, don't, I think it might have been short stay, actually, rather than Sheepdog, who was the third wheel there. And we were just sat there going, I don't know, don't know what to do. I think I drove to Nottingham. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember playing uh, any Halo games with you. We, we only ever sat up playing uh, Gears of War 3, didn't we? Um, Horde mode and all of that. Yes. Yeah. Which so you've fun. only got good memories of Halo at the moment, Anna. Yeah, but I've, I've never played it, ever. So I thought it, they've got, like, the Master Chief something collection. And I was enjoying it until I had to drive. And then I had to turn it off. The driving Weird. is like you're on ice. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. It's... This was a theme of this generation of games, though, because it was the same in Mass Effect. Oh, the driving was turned. Gosh. Oh, it... no, this is a whole different ball game. It's horrible. The, it, it's 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 always it's an acquired skill. You have to. Kind I of mean, I completed Halo bit. Three on Legendary as the van driver. Basically, my <laughs> job was drive the van and hang back as a respawn point, so the other three people who I was playing it with could do all the important stuff. But I've got that achievement for doing that game on Legendary, and I will I will always be proud of that because I am a proper gamer, as proven by that achievement. So I'm all for driving the van. It's just like you're on ice. It's just horrible. It, you... Ice driving is Kev's speciality. Next time it snows, he can rescue everyone. Uh, Absolutely. So I deleted it. it I was enjoying you it. You actually deleted it? Yeah. Wow. Wow. It annoyed me that much, but I won it's... I was enjoying the story, but there's far too much driving in that. This first is the great thing hours. about Xbox. Because you're not having to buy the games. You can just try them for a few minutes and they just bin them off entirely. Yep. There's no, it's like back in the 80s and 90s when you'd get the spectrum and you'd just swap discs in the in the playground, which none, not discs, cassettes, sorry, which none of you remember, I imagine, because you're not as old as me, but you'd swap cassettes with people in the playground and we had a filing cabinet full of cassettes that were all pirate copies. But because everything was free and you had unlimited games... You played everything for two minutes and then, no, I don't like this. And you just get through them so quickly. And that's what Game Pass is like. I can't believe you've just written off Halo, the generation-defining <laughs> game that it is, because mm. you didn't like how the van drives. It's horrible. <laughs> it's... Oh, and like, I saw it, it was like, do you want the controls to be this way? Although, I don't know. I want my control as normal as every other shooter out there. And then he was like, "Do you want?" And then this was from twenty years ago. Yes, that was a yes. that was. Well, Kevin, that... it inverted it, and I couldn't. I didn't know where I was pointing. It drove me <laughs> insane for that thirty seconds. It's like, look over here. Could do it. I could not do it. It was. That's oh. because the Xbox was bringing all these PC players across, and they all were used to inverting. No. It, the initial way was weird. weird. They love up then... being down and down being up. That's their their thing, isn't it? I remember we got Descent with a PC years ago and I spent hours trying to play that as a kid because it was the only game we had and the controls were inverted and I didn't know how to change them. So I was trying to do keyboard and mouse controls with inverted controls on it. You thought it was, it was called Ascent. breaking my mind. So yeah, everything that was, upwards. Exactly. I'd just crash into the ceiling. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's a game where you're basically flying around. So I'd just crash into the ceiling the whole time. Yeah, but Andy, Andy can do that fine. It doesn't care. It'll just 
put anything on and just adapt instantly. I was trying to play his bus game the other day because it, well, well, before his TV broke and it's inverted and I could not play it and it was driving me insane. I gave it him perfect, flawless and I was just like, <laughs> I don't know how you do this. It's just, oh. But like, I might... flying the drone, you'll probably be a pro <laughs> probably. at it. Probably. What I think I'll do is watch like the story of the first one and then try and go on to the second one and see if the the... That's called sheepdog in it. Yeah, I was just going to say, you're going to sheepdog it, I are can't, you? I can't do that driving. It, oh, just, like, you try and go fast. I mean, fast. be aware, it never really gets any better throughout oh. the series. But, but, you do kind of get used to it. And okay. when you play any other game, when when you, it's like riding a bike, you pl- you go back to playing, like, the other FIFA, the, the other ones, like, two, three, and four. You go back to it and go. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is this is this is how Halo controls. Okay, fair enough. And then it kind of changes the way you play other games. <laughs> so <laughs> you kind of got to get used to that as well. But yeah, like Halo is a thing. So I um, tried it, <laughs> deleted it, but I might go back to it because like, every everybody talks about like it's the greatest game. It's got it's got great music. Like it the, has the greatest soundtrack in gaming. The only problem is the music sometimes doesn't match what's going on on the screen, and it's just very jarring. Like, what, why are you pumping out like this gun music and nothing is happening? There's nobody there. But yeah, that was weird. But yes, yeah, so I played that. Played that Tetris game. Um, played a couple of hours of Elder Scrolls, uh, online. Um, and then the rest of my time has been on PlayStation Five. So. It's a, it's just a Game Pass game, a Game Pass. So, thing. in summary, Pab, these Xboxes are real money well spent. I've played a load of games I already own. Anna has tried a classic that she could have played on anything else we own and didn't like it and deleted it. So, <laughs> thanks, Pab. But the thing was, this this Master Chief collection was one hundred and forty seven gig. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Why is shows our new games, internet though, is it? good. Yeah, the, our, our internet must be good now because Anna's downloaded it, deleted it, and now saying she might go back to it because it's that <laughs> much of it. Oh, well, it's only 140 gig. It's fine. It's not a big deal anymore. It's what like 40 seconds worth of downloads for you now. <laughs> Just, <laughs> exactly. You don't even notice it. It doesn't yeah. even touch the sides. I'm... You'll um, you'll be using those Xboxes though when when Back for Blood and Anna Crucis and all of that comes out. The the Left for Dead. Oh yeah, Ke- I, and... we saw that come on the other day, and Kevin's face like lit up. It was awful. Yeah. That. When I saw Back from Blood and then Forza Horizon Five, that was it, as much as I love blaming Pab for things. It was watching them at E3 in the Xbox presentation at E3, seeing that we've got Forza Horizon Five coming in Mexico and Back for Blood with an open beta in August. That was just like, yeah, I need this before August then, don't I? Because obviously I am going to become a full-time professional Back for Blood streamer as soon as I am able to. Wow. He's refusing to play it with us, though, Pab, even though we played Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 with him. What do you mean? Want to play what do you mean he's refusing to play it with us? I said, are you going to play them? We could play them together as a four. And he was like, no, I want to make money out of them. And I was like, oh, but, but what do you mean? we could play yeah, them while I mean, you did that. Sheepdog, it's quite simple. You've got two months to make something yourself <laughs> i'll do my best i'll get a, i'll get an early release copy of back for blood and i'll become the world's premier back for blood streamer and then well, you'll you go, be going, oh sheep dog let me play <laughs> that's your, that's your route in start I saw the, the, advert. the blood folk i saw the advert and i was like this is early days mature gamer this is when kev was like how have you never played Left 4 Dead before? I used to play it all the time. Let's get on it. And we used to play it all the time or for a brief period. I think there's two very similar games coming out because it wasn't yeah. Back for Blood that you sent, was it? No, it was Anna Crucis that I sent. It's a, I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be getting that wildly wrong. Um, so they announced... I, I saw that first and that's like a sci-fi game by one of the writers, original writers of Left 4 Dead. Worked for Valve, worked on Left 4 Dead. He's got the same what they call the director that directs the game you know makes it all kind of generate as it goes different villains different music that kind of thing and tries to weave a story every time so he'd made that game with that kind of engine in play and then it seems like coincidentally back for blood has also been developed and released at exactly the same time so it's very much become the left for dead e3 where they're announcing games that are very similar so 
I saw that one and was like, I have to tell Kev. And then you were like, I'm going to become a Back for Blood streamer. And I was like, what the hell is Back for Blood? And I looked. I was like, oh my God. I, I, I didn't even cotton on the four in the middle. It was obviously Left for Dead's four. Um, yeah, it's, it seems like the, the keviest E3 imaginable, <laughs> surely. Considering they had a Forza there, which they always do. And, you know, it's... Uh, I you think I find they don't always have a Forza. They just have it's one always... most of the time. Yeah. And I'm only interested in Forza Horizon. I don't want any of that motorsport dirt. So Forza Horizon where it's... And I've I've only ever played an hour of Forza Horizon 4 because that came out... That was, that, that was a day one Game Pass thing, what, two years ago, whenever it was. And this was after I'd put my Xbox in the cupboard. So I remember downloading it on my PC with the, with, with the Kev Xbox bravado of, I don't need an Xbox, I'll play this on my PC. I downloaded it, played it for an hour, and I never, ever touched it again. Yeah, we did, Whereas because we had an I evening didn't. on it. Yes, we did. Uh, we had uh, a whole well, evening. That was, that was my hour then, probably. Mm. But... Now I've got it on the Xbox, I will actually force myself to play it as a reason to use the Xbox and my shiny Football Manager Xbox controller, which is now finally out of its box. But I yeah, Forza, much Forza else, is exciting. I couldn't see much else I thought would particularly stand out for you personally. I was like, I know we talked before the show about this isn't an E3 episode, but I'm bringing it because it's Look, I'm getting Xbox. new Football Manager, new FIFA, two, back, two Left 4 Dead style games, a new Forza... I mean, I'm all, I'm set for games for the year. I'm good. I don't need anything else. That'll do me. I was excited being told they were remastering more Final Fantasy games. And when I looked, they were just making pixel versions of them that are basically an overlay of the old game. I was like, oh, I wanted like a remastered Final Fantasy VI with the kind of Final Fantasy VII treatment. That would be insane. That would be that would be the I'm broken moment in <sighs> game for me if they, if they were to make that. And they are doing that with Final Fantasy I, though, apparently, which looks more like a Devil oh, May Christ. Cry story. Um, it looks rubbish. It, it's just a guy in a black shirt and trousers with a sword when the original was like this really colourful, wavy, you know, guardian of light. And he was super fan- fantasy style or whatever. And this guy just keeps repeating the same weird comments. I'm a bit miffed. Again, I was very excited to hear they had a Final Fantasy remake. Of, uh, well, not even a remake, a reimagination of Final Fantasy 1. And it just looks a little bit tired and old. And it's not, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping that they see the feedback because it's not been positive, but hopefully they'll see the feedback and they'll they'll bin it. (laughs) Bin it entirely. Forget the game. Drop it. The internet's not happy with it. Exactly what he said. Yes. (laughs) On the topic of Final Fantasy, I was flabbergasted. We were in game the other day and you know the Final Fantasy VII remake that's only a part, like part one of the remake thing. I don't fully understand it, but I noticed it was in there on PS5 for £70. For the part They've, one. Um, so I'm confused, and Anna might be able to give me an answer here because I've asked on, on there, like when they post, every time I go on Facebook, there's an advert for it because obviously the algorithm knows I like Final Fantasy and keeps trying to advertise it to me. So I replied to their advert saying, I own this on PS4. If I got a PS5, could I move my save across and then get the Yuffie DLC that they brought out because what they're advertising at the moment is Final Fantasy 7 Retrograde I think it's called which is the Final Fantasy 7 remake game plus an extra few hours of content added on to the end of it almost like that's how far they got and they just added it on as DLC um, because PS5 was out so I don't know whether I can play my PS4 version upgrade it to PS5 graphics and have and pay for the DLC or whether I'm kind of stuck with my my limited version and i'd have to replace it entirely with the new version later if that's the case i'm kind of like well why would i go back to playing no it? I you might get as well just you get a free ps5 upgrade cool you okay don't get the dlc i don't think i'm looking now hold on no, but can think... you add the dlc yes. to that yeah, for like 15 quid so you cool. have right. to, that's fine I think you, you have to have DLC separately yeah you have to have the disc mm-hmm. um but yep. you put it in and then you just go into the store and then just buy the PS5 one. Um, let's have a look. PS5 digital version, uh, console, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. If you obtain Final Fantasy Remake via PlayStation, you are not eligible. You are, uh, Yeah, so basically you get your free upgrade, but you then you can purchase the bits that you also want. So cool. you don't okay. have to buy I mean, it I don't know whether it will happen. Will um will my save transfer though? No. No. Anything you turn into PS5, um, 
you you start again because there it's a it's a, a new game if you know what i mean so like yeah. i've i've okay. started metro again and i have no trophies even though i've finished the game so you'd have to play it i again. mean that's handy because I think if I'd have gone back to, you know, if I'd have got upstairs and thought, oh, I'll put that on, I'll play it for a few hours, and then I'd got quite far, and then I wanted to add the DLC to it, I'd have been really gutted if I couldn't have carried it on. But I'm not that far through well, it. But it'd be like, shiny and PS... new as well if you got a PS5. It all looked different. Exactly. Yeah, if I get a PS5, in, I mean, it's not going to happen any time particularly soon. I've, you know, I've got Xbox on my PC, so I can get all those games that was another thing that freaked you out when Kev, Kev was like I'm, I'm not playing back for blood on the pc and i was like oh for god's sakes and then i thought well actually we can still cross play and all of that because xbox is everywhere now isn't it it's not it's not a it's magical thing it's magical so i mean we can still play it pabby if kev doesn't want us i mean i'll play it on my xbox yeah we can cross play yeah 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 that's fine oh we'll, we'll be playing uh, with kev don't you worry yeah i'll well, lower myself if pab's playing i'll get involved <laughs> I, yes. I needed Pab's commitment first. I said, I'll get Anna on it. I'll get Anna to convince you. And he was like, Anna prefers me making money. I was like, oh, that's just mean. <laughs> I didn't even hear that. It's like daggers in my heart. Um, did you see the Guardians of the Galaxy game as well? I'm kind of... Oh, I want that. In, yeah. I, it looks really good. It does look really good. And I really... Like their Telltale game is probably my favourite Telltale game. I loved it. It was so good. And... Um, yeah, I haven't played story. that. Is I that on Game Pass it. by any chance? I think it is now. Let me have a look. Let me check me out. I've got it on disc because um, I forgot I had it. I came I... home one day and uh, Claire and, and Ollie were playing it. And I was like, what on earth is this? I think a what lot of them got delisted, didn't they? When they, um, when when they, they went, went when they went, when they went yeah. Yeah, out of business. And then they kind of like brought a few of them back. I think Walking Dead, they mm. got back. Because I think because... Um, uh, if it's not Walking on there, Dead I've guys. got the disc somewhere. Walking Dead guys bought the Walking Dead game and commissioned tell you know like ex Telltale games to finish that last season off. I imagine it's a lot of Walking thing. Dead ones. But um, yeah, I, I, I was slightly worried though that it's the sort of game where all of the good stuff is in the clips and the rest of it is just you hacking and slashing your way through the monsters. But it's not not too bad, I suppose, is it? Um, it look they look very it, different because apparently they couldn't license. The actors or the lookalikes, even though it's a Marvel game. Well, that's the same game. with the well, they look like one. they are in the comics. Yeah. Oh, so that's what I thought. Oh, comics. okay. So Which, again, looks like still... Goat. Yeah, and I mean, Rocket still has a very similar voice mm. in the Telltale and the film. I feel like uh, Bradley Cooper's done a cracking job getting the idea, the nailing the voice for that's enough. I mean, Groot's similar, actually, to be fair. Vin Diesel's done a good job with setting the tone on that, but the... Yeah, I, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. A lot of people have said to me they're a bit burned by the Marvel games, yeah. so they're not sure they want to get another one. But no, because um, Spider-Man this looks was fine. Very different. The Spider-Man exactly. games were Marvel, and they were fine. It's the Avengers game that I think burnt everyone, because I, I liked it, but I don't know why other people didn't like it. But yeah, they got burnt by that Marvel game, because it's it was Marvel lookalikes, it. not Marvel, the actual, yeah. yeah. When I saw that they were bringing out Age of Empires 4, I was really nervous that they um, are going to do all, all of the so like Zoo Tycoon and stuff like that, where you go on it and it's all kind of rigid and you're just popping a, a little thing down that you go and visit and stuff. I, was, I watched a video for Age of Empires in the week and I can't believe that looks exactly like 1, 2, and 3 and just in much more better beautifulness. Um I'm very excited that they're bringing it out. I'm going to lose too much time to that. And that could be something that wrecks me because I'm going to be staying up till three in the morning just playing it. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in bed in a bit. I've got to just Stream take out Stream it and call nation. it work. Problem solved. Yeah. I know. But who, I don't know if people are... I don't think people are going to watch, want to watch people... I mean, I'm saying that people watched me play SimCity last week, but Age of Empires 4, I don't know. Maybe they will. You're right. I'm excited to see that's there. Someone's been demanding all week that i install roller coaster tycoon on my computer and i keep thinking should i because i do really like those games um and then i found i've got 25 quid in my epic store account from when i bought um their engine to make games with years ago like i bought it and then two months later they were giving it away for free so they they just gave everyone who'd recently bought it some money and i've obviously not been on it since because i don't have a pc but i'm sat there thinking roller coaster tycoon 3 complete is like 15 quid I nope. can just get it after full game. Nope. 
Did you say nope? Don't get that. Why that? Why not? Because it's not the same. If you're thinking it's like Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, it's made by different people. Oh, I'm glad you said. Because I watched a video. I did watch a video and think it doesn't look too dissimilar. It... But I was worried it was going to have the same problem as the... What is the the, the Roller Coaster 1 on uh, on Xbox? It's the same as Zoo, Kai, Zoo, Zoo Tycoon people. Oh, um, I can't God. Planet Coaster. But then, again, Planet Coaster, yeah. And that, again, is rigid. You kind of don't really get to have the same... I like to be able to have a completely empty field where I'm running paths around and, you know, uh, creating every minor detail. And, yeah, so I guess I'll see if I can find a copy of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. But I just can't imagine there sitting is, um, on stream and going, okay, so here I am. There is a there's a documentary on that came out probably about a month or so ago about Roller Coaster Tycoon and the history of Roller Coaster Tycoon and where it is now and about mods and... There's certain like way certain like pretty much mods, but like games that people have made off of Roller Coaster Tycoon to make them updated and make them much more mm. amenable to the modern modern day. Because like say Roller Coaster Tycoon two and no, like one and two are probably very hard to to. to They'll be hard to get running. To they? get run, yeah, exactly, That's exactly all, that. Yeah. So uh, I was wondering. Yeah. I'll, That's why I'll I send you a three. link to that afterwards um, and uh, point you in the right direction. You saved me a hassle there, then, mate, because I was yeah. going to get that after and install it tonight, just in the off chance. Um, this seems like a good, a good time as any to say I, I'm planning on doing like ten till six tomorrow on Twitch, and my plan was to play Pokemon all day, but then I thought I could always mix it up. But um, I'm not going to play Roller Coaster Tycoon three because you put me right off it now. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I've got like a whole pile of Switch games, so if we get bored of Pokemon, we can we can play something else. But I'm going to I'll be doing play my Halo with week. Anna. Yeah, on, on my Switch. All right, I can now I can get it on my Xbox, can I? Exactly. On my, uh, on your PC. You get it on your PC. Yeah. I'll be doing my Nuzlocke this week, and uh, that's nobody knows work. what that means. I have no idea. Yeah. You're going to have to explain. <laughs> playing Pokemon. Normal Pokemon, but you know, like, so I've said before, like, I, I, and I said this, I was telling someone earlier, right? When you get a Pokemon game, if you're someone like me who's played it from the beginning, you kind of get your Pokemon, you go to the first gym, and you just, you basically, you know, if you're playing the first ever Pokemon, you'd see Brock and you just headbutt him and you leave and you're done. It takes you seconds. You, know, you go to the next gym. So gyms are never challenging in these games. Now, the Nuzlocke thing is, was invented by this guy a few years back, where the idea is, Everywhere you go, so there's like 30 routes. You go to route one, you're going to catch one Pokemon on that route. And then you go to the next route, you're going to get one Pokemon in that route. And it's not, you don't pick a Pokemon. It's the first Pokemon you meet, you catch. So I started up the game. The chat picked the starter that I picked. I went down the road and picked the first Pokemon I ran into. And then I went to the next place and picked the first one. So by the time I got to the gym, I had a team of five because there was five areas that I could get a Pokemon from. The first gym was fine. I wiped the floor with him. It was brilliant. I then went on to the next gym, and on the way in, I thought, oh, I can catch a fish here. This is, this is a different place. I'm going to catch a fish. That fish destroyed one of my party members. It absolutely annihilated it, and I couldn't believe I'd already lost a Pokemon this early because I had to release it. I had to release its corpse into the wild. I wasn't even allowed to revive it. I sell my revives. So I went into the gym battle thinking, it's gym two. This is easy. I've been playing these for 25 years, and... I killed the first two Pokemon in the team, and then they did this Dynamax thing that they do in the new Pokemon games. Mm -hmm. That Pokemon killed four of my team. I had left that battle by the skin of my teeth. I'm absolutely distraught. I left my starter in the box because it's a fire type and it was a water gym, but I lost my bird Pokemon that was amazing. I lost my ghost Pokemon that I considered my like, ace in the, in the hole that I was saving for later. I lost... Like my, uh, I, I can't remember where else I lost. It doesn't matter. I lost the one that Lewis was like, get an electric Pokemon. It'll be really good for the water gym. So I was training up this stupid water Pokemon, uh, um, electric Pokemon, sorry. Gave him all the weapon he needed to be better and all of this. <clears> and he got it one shot. And I couldn't believe it. He got one shot in the gym. And I couldn't revive him. I had to just, I basically put their corpses in the bin and left the gym. And that's how far I've got. But um, it's so hard. It's ridiculous. I'm loving it because it's really fun, you know. Uh, catching the Pokemon's rock hard now. Any battle I do is hard. And uh, yeah, the chat seems to be enjoying it. You know, it's, it's been really fun, but it's completely changed the way this game plays for me. I feel like I kind of want to play these games like this all the time. I wish they'd put a mode in it because it 
it was just kind of I was just I, I I before I was just enjoying catching everything that moved and trying to complete the decks. Whereas now I'm actually thinking this is quite hard. If you do it this way, it's actually more of a challenge for well for me at least because I, I kind of think I know all the different matchups, but. I realised one of the reasons that the electric fella died in the battle was because the Pokemon I was fighting was part water, part rock. And obviously electric doesn't really hurt rock. And I didn't know that until I, I was like, oh crap, I should have known that. I remembered that after the fact. And I was like, oh for God's sake, I shouldn't have done that. I should have prepared better. Um, but yeah, it was very, very fun. And uh, I'm, I'm loving it. So tomorrow I'm planning on just doing, I was planning on doing like the whole eight hours of that. But I'll see how the stream goes. Um, but people should drop in and see how I get on. Because I've got to do gyms like three, four and five probably in that time. And uh, they're going to destroy me. I'm going to lose. There's going to be so many deaths. It's going to be ridiculous. Hmm. You should uh, catch some more Pokemon then, Jeep. Easy. easy I'll go to easy. more places, but it limits where you can go, doesn't it? Because there'll be Team Yell standing in the way and they don't let you pass. And, uh, but um, no, I, I am very much enjoying it. It's a great way of playing it. It's just... It's kind of like what you do with your football manager streams. You add a little restriction on. I know you were playing one where you could only sign youth players, and there was a specific rule you were playing that well, not not youth, but I'm under playing a that age. right now. I know you are, and uh, that makes it better, doesn't it? Otherwise, it's you're it Kevy six times. So if you literally just started us any team and played it, however you could think of playing it, you know all the ways to maximize the game, and you know. Any, they bring out a new one. You just you quickly learn whether corner hacks are in or throw on hacks are in or whatever it is. But then you just go win the Champions League back to back. But if you add a little tweak to it, it's suddenly the best game ever again because you've just you've used your imagination. And that's yeah, I'm loving this Nuzlocke. And people have suggested other ones I can try and that kind of thing. There's ways of. I mean, I was thinking of doing a different one where once you've got an ice Pokemon, you can't catch any more ice Pokemon. Once you've got a grass Pokemon, you can't catch any more grass Pokemon. That kind of thing. And just seeing if I can get through the game with only one of each type, basically. And maybe a few overlaps if they do overlap, but you get what I mean. Like I'd only end up with, I, th I can't remember how many types there are, 20, let's say. And uh, it would mean if I had, if I lost all my fire types, I wouldn't have any fire types. I thought it would be a good way of just seeing if I can do it. Because it would be harder than just bumbling through, catching everything and, yeah, maxing it all. You do love bumbling, though. I do. We called one in a Pokemon. We got to, you have to name the Pokemon as well. And the, the electric one we caught, they named Bungle. And never was a name more apt. He absolutely bungled every battle he went in. Um, he's, he's in the bin now. Yeah, he's just gone. Ridiculous. Um, Pabby, you're going to put an advert in here. And then when we get oh. back from the advert, I'm going to tell you why Ratchet and Clank is rubbish. Oh, no, it's not. Ooh. Well, that was a good advert, Pabby. Well done. Um, so yeah, Ratchet and Clank is rubbish. No, it's not. I um, I've been I've probably put five or six hours into this this week. It's been my go-to turn it on after I finish my stream, just to do something fairly mindless before I go to bed. Game, and I've I got to one night this week where I just got so bored with it that I turned it off. I went back to it the next night. And made it maybe five minutes before I got bored again. This game is just shooting stuff. It's all it is. It's just relentless shooting wave after wave of non, not particularly threatening baddies, but there's just so many of them that it's just shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. And, shooting. and it's just so boring. Whereas so football manager is football, 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 football. <laughs> exactly. And football is great. A lot. So it's a good I game. I think she's had quite a lot of people watch her play it. They're enjoying it, aren't they? It's a good game. I enjoy it immensely. I have a whole thing of how I take a big, um, a big group down. I turn them into plants that look like Bulbasaurs, and then. I shoot at Mr. Fun Guy and he shoots them and then I shatter blast them and I then I use my enforcer and then I use my blaster and then I freeze them and then I electrocute them. I have very good ways of playing this game and I don't I like it. I love it. I it it's good. I like all mm. the levels. I like the fact that there's one level that you hit a crystal and it changes the world. I I just like all of it. I think I think my issue with it, other than the fact that it's just shooting and shooting is boring, and I kind of retired from shooting games a long time ago, I think my main issue is having never played a Ratchet and Clank game before in my life. That's why then. I was expecting a platformer, 
Why? Because it's a because it's a cutesy looking little <laughs> weird bear. I thought it was just going to be a, bear, a Sony a rip off of Mario. Yeah, because that's a real thing. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I thought it was going to just be like a Sony rip off of Mario, and I wanted to play that, it's but not. it. In, in actual fact, it's like a bad version of Splatoon. I, I've never played that, so I don't know. <sighs> I've played lots of I, I'm glad pack. Pab gave me the sigh I was looking for. When I got no reaction out of Anna, I was devastated. Thank because you, Pab, for responding I mean, appropriately. How, I'm, I'm banging me against the microphone. I'm not annoyed. Um, <gasps> what did you expect... I don't understand how you... Oh. I, I just explained. But I've I never don't... played one in my life. I've never seen so it what... be played in my life. All I knew is looking at the box art. Oh, it's a oh little cutesy no, no, character. No, no, no. This must be a platform game. I'll give this a try. <coughs> Again. Your fault. All your yep, fault. It is. You're a <laughs> moron. How is that You're my fault? I've been misled. They've clickbaited me. Right. No, they haven't. So now I know. Now I know how people feel when they watch my videos. Like I don't understand how you just. You like. I don't. Get I mean, you remember, saw the, Pab, This you is saw the box this is out, another like, entirely. Good. This is another. This is another entirely risk-free transaction for me. We already owned the game. I haven't bought this game. Right. Okay. We already I owned it. So I just thought okay. I'll have a go at that. That looks interesting. Okay. So you didn't buy um, it. And I it turns you out, bought it again. No, no, no. It's uh, we got it for Anna. Um, okay. Because because it was a streaming game, it's a business expense. So I bought it. So it was bought on my PlayStation account, and um, I just thought I'll give this a download and give it a little go. And I go in. I gave it a fair crack, five or six hours. Some of the some bits are good. The bits where you're doing the little puzzles, I like the puzzles. Give me more mm -hmm. the give me more puzzles. But yeah, the, just the, just the relentless shooting is dull as I mean, dishwater. That's that's. It is what it is. That is what that game is. It's a shooter, shooter with some basic platforming. I mean, I'm guessing you didn't play Borderlands Three, did you? No. So you're probably not gonna like that anymore. I think you like said you retired from the shooter event. You enjoyed two. I loved two. Two was great. You've retired from shooting. How are you playing Back for Blood? It's a good point. Well, I used the chainsaws and the melee weapons. That's all I ever did in Left 4 Dead. Is it really? Me melee weapons and Molotovs. That explains why you weren't particularly good at it, I suppose. <laughs> I'd occasionally use a so shotgun. Much. I mean I might I, I mean I might I might pick the gun back up again for that game. If they have if they have a nice shotgun for me and it's a whole co op situation, then I might get involved. But the best thing about that was Molotov cocktails, chainsaw chainsaws and yelling, I've been sucked off That was what <laughs> uh, Left yeah. for Dead was. Carrying a name around. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, I well, I'm enjoying the game immensely. I'm less annoyed now knowing that you didn't just, on a whim, go, I like look at that box. Now. I'm going to sort yeah, of buy this 70 again. 70 quid purchase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like so right you, you two can tell everybody why it's great then, because I, I don't get it. What don't you get? It's... Why people think it's good. Because That's it why is. why you have to tell them why it is. That's not a, that's a very uncompelling <laughs> argument. Well, I've played these since the PlayStation 2. So I've played these cross generations. So I, I know backstory. I know how they have been in the past. And they are a shooty game. All of them are. It, yes, they're cute, but they are a shooter. And this one has more to give you. So you've got your shooting. But you've also got your puzzles and anomalies. You've got your little glitch that does like upside down. Oh, that bit was great. I like those bits. <laughs> they made me like, feel I'll very. I have a whole game based on that. They made like me the, feel the, very on it. Very. What's it called? Out? The um. The was it the no the clank ones where you play in basically lemmings. Yes. Yeah, I love all that. That was brilliant. So I had yeah, to, I had to skip one day. I could not for life of me work out what I was supposed to. do. You should have come and got me. I'd have done it. I enjoy you, them. I couldn't work out what I was supposed to do. I had, I had all these jumpy things, and I was like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. So I skipped it because it was doing my head in, which is, I, I like the fact that it's got a skip button in it. But I, I, I just like them. I, I, I like the different um, ways I can use weapons to like stop a bunch of enemies coming at me. 
then shoot them with something else and they've got all different like um different what's the word i'm looking for they do different things so like the ice blaster will make them into a, an ice cube so they're stuck in an ice cube and then i can shoot them with my electrifying gun and, and the it chain it does a chain lightning between all the enemies and they're all there you can see their bones and stuff i just i like that but then you've also got your your grinding with your on the on the on the rails that's fun to do and then you've got your puzzles you just got then there's side quests so like i i'm playing this game also on my own and not just on streams so i started it again and didn't realize there were side quests on worlds i've been to so in one of them i had to fly this dragon around the whole map and that got me to places where i couldn't get to before to get things that were just out of reach when i first went through the game um as for vehicles you're on snails like you can ride a snail for goodness sake mm -hmm. when they be able to ride a snail in 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 my garden if i wanted it <laughs> wouldn't go very well for the snail See, but... riding the snail was fun as well all the bits that weren't just shooting even the shooting is fine for the first minute or so but it's when you're still going 10 minutes later on the same bit and it's just wave after wave after wave and you're just waiting for it to stop so you can move on to the next bit of the game what are you it's playing just got boring. are you playing on rookie are you playing on easy are you i don't know probably one of the easier ones because if you've left i'm not i'm not dying i'm just getting it's it's wearing me down with boredom that it's taking so long i'm not dying Oh, no, I don't know what you were expecting. I don't know how you were expecting a, um, a Mario game. It doesn't look nothing like Mario. I just... It looks a bit like Banjo-Kazooie on the box That's not art. Mario, is it? Mm, it's basically the same. No, it's not. I mean, it is, it is Banjo-Kazooie's a platformer. I never played it, so I just remember... It I it's to... better than this, that's no, for sure. No, I remember putting it on and you had to build a car, and I was like, I don't want to build a car. This is awful. That's nuts and bolts. That's nuts and bolts. That's the uh, terrible spin-off. That's why I Whoa. like it then. No, I, I, I can kind of see what you mean, Kev, about you, you, you are, you, it's just not your type of game because that's what they've, they are, that's what they've always been. And that's what most shooters are these days. You think about Borderlands 3. You go into a, lo a, a room, a, an area, you shoot all the enemies, you walk a bit, you go into another area, a load of more enemies come out, you shoot all them. What's wrong with people? Why is this what it's gaming what people, has it's, become? It's what this kind of genre is now. A shooter is, is very much that's what like it is. But this has been like this PlayStation 2, Kevin. It was never... They never just changed it because that's what it is now. No, perhaps saying Borderlands has changed into this as well. No, no that's, what, that's what it's always been. Borderlands think about always it. been a shooter. It's always been a shooter. Yeah, but it's think not been a wave after wave after wave of shoot, shooting. It it's, pretty much there is. There was yes, story. There was stuff to do. This has a story. I mean, the story in this. Yeah, this there has is stuff story. to do. Uh, yeah. I, I don't... I, I don't... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you want, Ed. You're playing... Less shooting, more platforming, please. That's what I wanted. Yeah, but want, the same with Mario Football game. Manager. You're just playing... You're just pressing spacebar a bunch of times. That's boring. Uh, Oh, come on. I'm not a caveman. I've got Spacebar mapped to my mouse. See what I mean? That's boring. <laughs> boring. It's not, it is. It, I've played it for 2,000 hours well, since if, November. Yeah, but the thing is, if everyone liked the same, there wouldn't really be a, a game, a gaming community, would there? Not everybody's going to... Like, I can't stand Civilization. I think it's a boring game. I like the look of it, but every time I go on it, I find it the boringest game in the world. Yeah. You love it. You can't get you have enough to develop of this a, game. Um, you have to develop a rivalry with Gandhi. If you get beef with Gandhi, you'll you'll just play for hours. But I I, I don't even get I a tutorial. It. Yeah, I just in them games. Yeah, but apparently just, they were the best games. Yeah. Yeah, people, people, it's just a certain, certain type of game, and it sounds to me, Kev, like you've just kind of like gone. I don't really. Not Curse me shoot. and my insistence on thinking rather than mindless I shooting. I think you'd rather have a story. I think that you've been spoiled on story games. So, absolutely, it takes two you've played, and it's very much a story game with platforming. Um, oh, it's fantastic! It's wonderful. Telltale We're going to play that this weekend. Play yeah. what? Oh, it, it takes two. Out, We're yeah. going to stream that this weekend. Yeah, good, good. Um, you like the Telltale games, which are, are all just very much story based games there's not absolutely. really absolutely i think you've you've kind of 
You've I've moved grown up. away. You, yeah, exactly. You've kind of moved away from the shooter genre, which you used to enjoy, and, you, and now you've gone back to it and gone, eh, I've kind of bored it. Where's the story in it? And you're right, there is a lot more shooting than there is story in it, but there is story there. It just might be thin on the ground compared to what you used to. But they haven't moved away from what Ratchet and Clank has all. No, they haven't. Doing. No, no, it's just just Kev's kind of kind of grown out of it from what yeah. from the sounds of things. And Which it's, is it's... sad in a way, but yeah, not really. It's awesome. Yeah. It Did is, you? I it... thought you played the one on the PS4, the prequel no. thing. You... No, 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 Did no, you no, not? no, no. I don't think I played any games on the PS4. I think the Last of, <laughs> the Last of Us Two was the only game I played on the which PS4. Came, I think. Which and came out a year tomorrow. And consider, considering I owned two PS4s, I think I only played one game across the two of them. Unless you count FIFA, but I had that on everything. Do you know, I went to speaking of Last of Us Two. I saw that upstairs, and I thought, Oh God, I meant to sell that while it was hot. Um, and Amazon doesn't let you sell second-hand games anymore off the bat when they're new. I didn't know that was a thing. Like, it just says you're not authorised to sell this yet. Like, you have to be an authorised seller of this game. So, I, mean, I meant to face pay it, but I never got around to it because of COVID. But the plan was play it, complete it, ship it off for pretty much full price and buy another game and just see how long I could keep doing that for. But well, yeah, it's COVID a year old tomorrow. So many plans. I sold loads of things over during COVID. I bought my PlayStation 4 by selling stuff. Yeah, but you're selling on eBay. That's true. I really like eBay. eBay is fantastic. I think I need to do that. I need to get a uh, few bits. So I might I might start flogging old games and seeing how I can go. Splendid. Um, so, who's who else has played something this week? I feel like I've just done the first 47 minutes and you lot joined in here and there. Wow. But that's Kev doing a podcast on his own. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so I have played... I upgraded my Metro today, uh, Metro Exodus. Uh, so it updated on PC a few uh, weeks ago now. Um, I knew this was coming out. I thought I was going to have to... I didn't want to buy it again because I already own it. But um, no, if you have it on PS4, you get the upgrade for free, which I'm loving. Nice. Uh, so it's all got the ray tracing, adaptive triggers. Just it just looks shiny, you know, as a new game. Well, because it is out today in store. I saw it yesterday. Um, so I did that. Just I've only played like the first hour because then I had to go upstairs and be a mum and do all that things. But yeah, what I've seen of it looks lovely. You can feel the adaptive triggers. You can feel the rain. It's very bizarre when you feel that. It's so so strange, but. Yep, so I upgraded that free upgrade if you've got PS5. You must have the disc. You like I think people forget this. You have to have the PlayStation 4 disc to get your upgrade. If you've got a discless one, you will not get an upgrade, which is a shame, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. What if you bought it digitally <clears throat> on the PS4? Um, I don't You'll know. Probably get it then. You'll probably get the upgrade then, I imagine. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think it's be... just if you haven't got a code of some kind that you know you'll need to they're not going to put codes in every box in the off chance, are they? That's true. But they could have done it what another way. Like, you prove that you own it. Um, I don't know, you've still got the disc. But then you but could you... sell it. That's true. Yeah. I mean, but there's yeah, lots of might... stuff that they have. I can go on the PS5 store now, and there's loads of games I can download that I supposedly own because Anna played them at some point, and they, the disc just happened to go into a console that I had. Yeah, but you have when you go and play, it. you have to up, you have to have the disc again. Yeah, you might let you download them and then it goes when you yeah. go to play it. It'll go and insert the disc. Yeah, it will do. Mm. So um, I've done that for a lot of my PS4 games. It's like the past year, except for The Last of Us, which I'm a bit miffed about. Like, why is that not already got lovely graphics? Because I'd play that again with nice graphics. It's coming. It's coming, oh, I is it? I think they did say they, I, mean, I think they did say they were doing a. There will be a patch for the PS5 update. I think at some point. I oh think. well, that that would be nice. And I say so... I dreamt that somewhere. I'm fairly certain I I read that somewhere. I mean, yeah, hundred percent. Like, no, no chance. Although I don't think I'll but... I'll ever play that game again. No, I mean I can't go through that that. <laughs> just did I hear they're rebooting it? No, uh, no, it was um, potentially. No, yes, they're remaking one. Why? Probably in the two engine. 
Oh, okay. Just, just, just because money, I yeah, imagine. I but they were saying um, that it wouldn't be the same story as one or something. They were going to do a different story. Is that not the? Is that? Mm, is that would be the, weird. The, is that not the TV series that they're on about? Was it, just I, having a look. I think maybe they maybe they're doing it to coincide with the TV series, and they're going to make it kind of like alongside the TV series, so it play, plays more like the TV series plays out. Maybe you're right that it's a remake for the new gen for money, but they're uh, yeah. I think from what I understand, you're right. They're going to tweak it a little bit as well. Maybe it's remake in the same vein as obviously FF Seven got remade, and it's. You know, massively different, but kind that's, of the same. That's different because that game was on a PS One and came to PS Four. <laughs> this, <laughs> oh, yeah, this, yeah, this yeah. game, this game, this this game already got a remake for the PS Four mm-hmm. from PS Three. Yeah, it's they love flogging it, didn't they? Well, they're just yeah, going to do popular. what they do with um, GTA, aren't they? Well, GTA, but GTA is, is a purpose because it's a multiplayer game. It's online, the there, most yeah. popular. Mm. Multiplayer game on Twitch all the time. You can get that. You can get that game for next to nothing these days. They just they just want you to buy the shark cards and just play online and just but play online. I don't online, think I'll ever currency. buy a shark card. Ever. Oh, I have. I spent. I spent. <gasps> I dare. I dare. I say hundreds. Talking of really? spending hundreds. Jeez. Talking of spending hundreds on cards and things. Have you heard about the new FIFA Ultimate Team update that's happened today? No. They've they've solved their it's gambling problem. Now, when you go to get a pack, you can press preview pack before you buy it. It shows you everything that's in the pack, and then you can choose whether to buy it or not. But the preview what? only refreshes every 24 hours. So if you want to get a lot of packs in one go, you then kind of choose to buy the bad pack so you can then preview the next pack or wait 24 hours to preview a refreshed pack. So there's no... You don't buy you don't buy any packs without already knowing what's in them. <laughs> thus so, completely what? eliminating the element of it being gambling and random. So you, you know what you're buying before you pay for it. So you you go okay, I'll, I'll buy a pack, and you go oh no, you, never yeah, mind. Yeah, you, o- you open I, the I pack, like the then choose whether or not to buy it. That's insane. Yeah. But obviously, because you then can't buy another pack for 24, 24 hours, hours until you've bought that one, if people want to spend a lot of money in one go, they'll choose to buy the bad pack, but they're going into that knowing it's a bad pack. That's insane. so. There's no, there's no randomizing it anymore. I, it's, it's a part insane and part. My God, EA are geniuses. They've done it again. I did because they've, say they've, they've won. saved, they've, they've saved Ultimate Team. It's, it was, it was hugely at risk, and with just one decision, it's like, oh, okay, they fix that then. So can you? <laughs> pay and then you look at the next one and pay for that and it's only when you stop when you decide you no, don't you, buy basically, that one basically you go to the store you open the pack and then you decide whether you want it or not and if you want if, it you pay for it if you don't want it that's it you're done you can you can go back the next day to preview the next pack but you can't sit there previewing pack after pack after pack so you can only it, preview a pack if you have if if you've not already done it and not bought it but if you see that first pack, buy it, and then get another pack. And then you can preview penny. the next pack. Yeah, okay, cool. Wow. So, yeah, okay, you can. So... so, yeah, they just all try before you buy. But obviously, people will though? still. The first pack's never going to be good, is it? Well, ever? you say that. I did one earlier to have a look. I didn't buy it because I, uh, I don't have any money loaded on the Xbox one. Um, but the first pack I previewed, I got an 89 rated Casemiro. So it was better than any player I had in my Xbox account already. So straight away, my if I was in the mood to be spending money on it, I would obviously buy that pack because I could see it had a much better player than I had anywhere else in my squad. And you, so you'll get the situation where you'll get like the nine-year-old in there who's previewing his pack. Messi's in there and he's got 24 hours to convince his mum to let him have some FIFA points. But mum, Messi's there. Oh, wow. I need to buy the pack. <laughs> It's going to be awful, isn't it? Um, I wonder how this sort of ruling affects the likes of Pokemon Go because they've brought out Reggie Gigas at the moment as a shiny, and I've I've spent about a fiver so far trying to get it. I had the free ones. I've used all my free passes. I've got fivers worth of passes. Still not got it. 
And I'm like, I don't want to keep spending money on this. I've got some where I have to go out and drive around and find people to raid with passes that I can use. But I'm like, how is this not gambling? We're just spending money and gambling on it. And I, my kid could get hooked on this if he wanted to, um, if he was interested in it anymore. And they they seem to be just ignoring that rule. They've ignored it with the eggs. They've started telling you what's in eggs. So uh, it doesn't tell you what you're getting, but I can look at a blue egg I've got and it will tell me there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven 11 different Pokemon it could be and a rarity tier. So there's like three in tier one and one in tier four that it could be and that's obviously the one you want most um but you don't know what you've got and yet you could pay for an incubator that that one i guess you can pay for an incubator to hatch it or you can use the free incubator and take a week to do it but the shiny hunting that's just gambling i pay for a raid pass a fire i might not even catch it let alone it be shiny um i don't understand how they get away with it really surely they're probably next under the gun after ea yeah, I imagine that's exactly how they're getting away with it at the moment. EA are the big targets. Once that's once that's dealt with, then I guess they start going after other companies as well. I wonder if they'll start showing us the outcome of the raid and <laughs> this is what you'll get in this raid or you can come back tomorrow. That'd be annoying. That'd be well rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> they just need a genius to come up with it the way FIFA have done it. And I imagine this will roll out into Madden and all the other games as well now. They're, they're trialing yeah, it in FIFA at the moment. But it's the first time in a long time I've seen anything new in FIFA been well received. Has it been well received, really? Yeah. That's yeah, people mental. are... It, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of solved the problem. Wait, I always kind of thought if they showed you what was in the egg, but you couldn't throw the egg away, that would pro- solve the problem for Niantic. Because if I knew... One of my eggs had the best Pokemon in it, but all the other ones were rubbish. I'd focus on that egg, but once it's gone, I've still got to get rid of the other 12 eggs to get any more. So, do you know what I mean? It, it doesn't make any difference to them. It just incentiv- If I see that, and I think, oh, I want that now, I'll go and buy a bloody egg hatching device to hatch it quicker, you know? But because I don't know if any of them are good, I kind of just stick to the free one. I don't really care about eggs, because they're never really that good, you know? I get anything else via a trade, but... I keep thinking that they need to get more savvy with this and be a bit cleverer about it and a little less. Like I feel like a lot of these games are made by people who don't fully understand it's supposed to be fun first. And the FIFA way sounds quite fun if you're willing to go nuts for it, doesn't it? And that's what, they want that, and people want to go nuts for it. So, yeah, it's win-win. Absolutely is. I imagine it will change the way I play FIFA rather than throwing hundreds of pounds at it in the launch window like I do most years. I imagine I'll just go in on the app every day, preview my packs. Ah, today's the day I'm buying some points then because Ronaldo's turned up. But there'll be a lot of days where I don't do anything because the preview's rubbish. I'll probably just check in, preview every 24 hours like you can and buy the good packs. Means when their numbers are down or it's end of quarter, they can just go, oh, bring out the messes. Well, yeah, at that point, they just put a load of promo packs out because... If there's 12 different types of pack in the shop, that's 12 different previews you can do. So you can preview one of each type of pack that they've got. Yeah. So if they bring out a whole load of promos, so you could have like a really expensive pack that's guaranteed to have really good stuff in, do the preview, and if it's got like three things you want in it, you might be like, well, I'll pay a tenner for that then. I think it's... People will still get annoyed with it because it's still going to be expensive and it will cause even more problems with kids you've now got kids who couldn't even touch the packs before because they had no money they're going to be previewing them and parents are going to be furious <laughs> but EA are going to be like well be furious all you like it ain't gambling anymore you need to find a new law uh, I'm glad my kids don't like football <laughs> well if anyone's kids do like football you need to fix them just make them watch the England Scotland game from this evening that'll fix them they oh, won't God, like yeah. football after that Was that not so back to video games it wasn't good I don't want to talk about it I spent £70 but on I, an England I'm shirt. I'm sure I saw you put Hazar. What was Hazar about? That was the moment Harry Kane was substituted. Uh... <laughs> I just tweeted Hazar. My mate, t- my mate text get in and I threw my phone down thinking we'd scored. I was really annoyed because I wasn't even on WhatsApp. I was chatting to someone else. I was checking if my mum would have the boys tomorrow. And... Um, he put get in and then like minutes later I'm watching Kane walk off thinking well nobody scored and then I cottoned on that he was just finally happy that we were getting rid of Kane and he just, <laughs> he'd been waiting for it all game so yeah Ugh. Um, 
Who's is it Anna that he's talking about what she's played? Is she the only one that has Pab even covered what he's played? Nope. No, because you two are in shit and chat. Yeah, chatting. you two aren't pulling your weight. We've done an hour now. We're into overtime, and you two haven't even got involved. I've talked about Ratchet, and I've talked about that. I've played um, Metro. I've also been playing a bit of uh, Ghost of Terry Masu, um, because I just wanted oh. to play it. Just because it's it's been a year, I think, hasn't it, or two years since that came out? I'm just going back uh, on there. It came out. A f- it came out. A, July a, was it? A month or so after. Last of Us. Yeah, so it's about about nearly eleven months. But yeah. I never finished the game, and I just—it was such a beautiful game. I wanted to get back into that, so I um I put that on, and it looks nice and pretty as ever, obviously because it's one of the pretty games. But I do like this game. It's just there's a lot of just pressing L two. I've found L two's going your 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 bike not your bike your horse l2 to um loot stuff it's a lot of l2 but i I like everything else it's nice i I just forgot how to do all the different stances that's why i had to start again Mm -hmm. because i was like nope Mm -hmm. i have no idea what any of these do so i started again but yeah it's lovely it's just nice and wispy and just chill from like Ratchet and Clank where it's all hyper realistic. What I must say about um Ratchet and Clank is that it is smooth as anything. I don't get any lag. I don't and you know like normally with games that have got lots going on, you get stuttering. They are nothing, nothing on this game. It is beautiful. Cause I was playing it and I was it. like, why why is this stuttering? Because I like, get you're used to it, you know what I mean? Like Things like mm-hmm. that happen, but no, it's beautiful. It's it's uh, yeah, impeccable for its um, working. Have you seen the um, the load times on it? Oh uh, no, I don't really. A ratchet. Are they? So, are they good? okay, so so you'll notice now. Great right, when you when you're on it on your main menu, you click this the button to start, don't you? And then you go into it and you, you select your load file, and mm-hmm. I think it's about. Three seconds, isn't you? Oh yeah, I don't have time to pick up my phone. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it is like two or three seconds from clicking the the, the save file yeah, that you want it, to load, and you are you're in. It is. I was like, it is bonkers. I only really noticed it today, and I was like, that is so fast, so so fast. It's very 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 cool. It is. Um, it's so smooth. It's ridiculous because there was a lot going on. I was like in this big epic ba- battle. Nothing, not even a little tiny sort of it just oh, and I love that because, like, it, and other I've played other games and they just die because there's a lot going on, but no, this was excellent. Uh, so yeah, so I played some t- uh, Ghost of t- I can't even Tsushima. say the word, yeah, Tsushima. Tsushima. Um, so I played a bit of that, and right at this second, I have put on Outriders. Because nice. apparently they fixed it. Now, we've had upgraded internet since I started this game, and I'm still getting um, the, you know, like in the corner where you've got a triangle and it's got like three bars in it. I'm still on amber. So I don't know what kind of internet this wants me to have. <laughs> but I've gone from like what we had before to this, and it's still giving me bad connection. But wait, what are you going to do? Like, yeah, yeah, but um, I don't think I. Oh, so in one foot football, like England was on the other day. I played some more Valhalla, um, because I'm in okay. Ireland and I've never got I because it because I got so annoyed because I I wanted to play down that get that play the DLC and it took forty hours to download. I just don't want to play it. Because our internet was so bad back when that came out. It was like 40 hours download. So by the time it had come out, there was already updated games that like it'll come out and I just didn't play it. But it's fine. I'm just going there's all different things to do. So yeah, you get so in the main game you have your own town of Ravenswood or something. It's like actually in England. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um and in Ireland you get like little villages that um, provide different things around the map because the map is like basically all of Northern Ireland from what I can tell so it's quite a large chunk of land and there's a whole big story in there 
but I just it's uh, I I fell in love with is it Odyssey the last one I fell in love, I yes. really really enjoyed that game and this one is like a step back for me. I just I just don't like like the bird does nothing whereas in Odyssey you could like tag every single enemy and you know what you're doing you could actually stealth it but yeah it's just it's not the same <laughs> Odyssey is my favorite but um. I think that's it. Maybe look on the thing. Uh, Metro, Wretching Hank, Valhalla. Oh, I've played, obviously, uh, played a bit more Mass Effect and Mon 3. I'm just going through that bit by bit because I don't know what it is, but I think the pinnacle of that game was the second game. That The second game was just oh, pure perfection. Whereas the third game seems a bit of a slob because there's no one line to it. So the way you get, because you have to build up basically your 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 army and i think in in the original game you would do online missions and that would give you more um war something i can't remember what the word is but you could build your army by doing online missions and none of that's in this game anymore so you have to all you have to do it all manually yes you get more for the missions you do but it just seems a bit uh, i don't know i just i'm not i'm not feeling three as much as i did one and two but, yeah, um, I'll just keep playing because I, I I like the game. I mean, there's always something to do. There's always going here and there. And the, the Reapers creep me out like no end. I hate the husks. They frighten the bejesus out of me because they just run at you. They have they have no fear. They just run at you and you're like, oh, go away. They're horrible things. But, yeah, that, that's been me this week. Not... not too much um but you say not too much but that's like five Still games up. yeah like and I've, obviously i've been streaming i'm now streaming three times a week instead of two and to say i'm only doing that over lunchtime it's going pretty well like there's people there i've got like i've started getting subscribers which is nice and follows the only thing i don't like about streaming is i can't say names i'm awful like because because I've got dyslexia, dyslexia, when names come up, I'm like I can't work that out, and I go back to them and go, oh that like the way people have I put see, yeah, their names, yeah. like it they're not swear words, but they're sayings that I shouldn't really be saying, but I don't see them until like a lot later, and I, I just hey, I'm not dyslexic and I do that. I'd be reading Kev's name going lol Lou, Joe, <laughs> and I just wouldn't be able to. Yeah, it's just when, it's you're, when, you're, when your brain's not focusing on that, if you're thinking about something else and the name pops up, you're not you're not really yeah, you're not in a like position to randomly pronounce someone it. Someone put something and it it wasn't it was like a saying that I shouldn't really be saying on stream, but I read it as a different like so it was like some uh, I can't remember what it was, but I saw dragon, so I started saying dragon, and then I was looking, I was going. No, that's like that's a bad sentence. But people do it just so you say these things on online. Yep. And it just that annoys me. But like you say, you're already do it. You're already like looking and doing stuff, and you you're completely that part of your brain doesn't register until you go back. Anna, I was setting up my <laughs> comics earlier, and I put my copy of Mouse on the shelf, and then thought probably don't want a swastika in the background of my streams. No. <laughs> so that so that one comic is now laying with its back uh, to to the to the viewer um, on top of all my comics because I just thought, yeah, even if it's I don't think it's exactly the normal swastika, but I don't want anyone watching my videos and thinking I've got a little swastika <laughs> in the background. <laughs> That's no. not going to go down well, is it? Jesus, but no, that that's been me. Just bits and bobs here and there. In the hoops. Happy. Yes. Hello. Um. So we've mentioned we've played. Uh, we're not going to go over Ratchet and Clank again. I'm enjoying it. Thank goodness. It's it's a it's a good little game. Uh, today I was playing the, and I will mention this to you, Anna. There is a there's a world where you it's kind of semi open world. Okay. Um. Yeah, you'll have played it. Uh, you've been talking about stuff I've not even seen yet. So there's a world where you you have to go around it and collect all the 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 Lombax lobs or whatever it was. The purple um, things. They're like little little balls that like on a plat like these platforms that look like a Lombax. Um, okay. 
and you have to collect it. But it's all—it's like it's just an open world planet. It's pretty much—it's pretty barren. There's not a lot on it, but it, that becomes a very much, pr pretty much like a kind of a platformer <laughs> at that Same. point where you're just trying to get to these these things and collect them because someone says they'll give you an hour set if you collect them. Oh um, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So I did that, and that, like I said, that was different to all the other ones because the rest of them have just been kind of like running around through like a re relatively linear world. Yeah. Shooting stuff, but that one was just pretty much just wandering around the the the, the map, just filling in the map, collecting goods, and then being on my way. So yeah, I like that the the, the change it up a little bit in places as well. Oh, for the um, longest time, I didn't know there was armor sets. Couldn't have told I, you. I, I don't know if I don't know how much the armor sets do because I I kind of like just playing without the armor sets, but they and they do have stats yes. on them. Yeah. yeah, they do exactly. So, um, that is the only real game that I've been playing um, oh, okay. this week. The other thing I have been playing, so that with it being E three this week, there's been a lot of demos come out this past week. Um, if you were to go say onto the Xbox and just search id um mm. there is if you searched id uh there's a whole like kind of like folder sort of thing for uh the summer games fest demo event that's on there and there's a there's like a lot of demos on there um i played uh what did i play there i played a game i played one called sable which has an amazing art style i didn't get a ton of time with it but it looked very very cool um I played another one called Tunic, which was like, kind of like a, a bit like the that new new Zelda that they brought out last year, no year before, the the one that looked like a little toy, little model toys. It played a bit like that, but with animals. Um, but the one I'm going to talk about is a game called, like, um, this might be more up Kev Street. Um, I'm listening. You had me with the hipster sounding name. So you are a it's set in something like 1986, and you are some sort of like developer or a coder for some sort of like piece of software, and you are it, that's kind of irrelevant, but it will be relevant in the, in the main game when it comes out. I imagine you are going back to your hometown to to do your dad's job while he goes away for a few weeks and your dad is a postman. <laughs> My um, dad used to be a postman. Yeah, and it is... It, 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 so you, you, the premise is you go home and you get, given, you get given the post van and you get given all the posts that needs to be delivered and you go around this little town... And you deliver mail and you deliver parcels to people. You have to go into the back of the van, find the parcel, go and take it in. You're, you're losing me a no, bit no, no, here, no, just, just trust me. Trust <laughs> me. It's simple. It's very easy. It's not hard. But you go into the into like say there's a video store there. You go into the video store and then you have a you have like a conversation with it. And then there's a, there's like a dialogue tree of what you want to choose to to what they want you know the conversation to go. And then, like. You do that for the first day, and then there's, you have like a phone call from your mum, and then you have a conversation with her, and you do the same thing. You have like a series of options to pick it, pick what you want to say, and then you do it again the day after. And then there's a different dialogues because you've met them now. You've met these different people from the previous. You say you also have people that you you who who recognise you because it's been 22 years since you've lived there, lived there, and you, people re remember you and stuff like that. I'm it, it might not be selling it. But I'm getting real life is strange vibes on this game. <laughs> Um, with with an element of relatively simplistic, like tasks to do, but it's fun. It is a very cool game. It's it's on. You can get the, the demo on Steam. You can get it on Xbox. You can get it probably anywhere. Um, but yeah, I really I played it. Probably took me about two hours to play the whole thing. The demo. It's coming out in September. Um, yeah, I really want to see what's going on. So I mean, I want to know where. What's going on with the guy who lives in the woods who I, who I take mail to, who wants to uh, burn down the government or something like that? I want to know about him. I want to know about the um, the business proposal that I got just before the demo ended from the from the woman in the post uh, in the video shop. Uh, I also want to know about the. I'm, I'm meant to be doing some analysis analysis on some uh, 
some of the software that um that we developed that she's developing and I've got to do it before a certain deadline and I was like I want to know how this work fits into this game because you have a you have you have like a a like sort of like a diary sort of thing where you know, like a, an agenda so you have things on your day-to-day -day schedule of what you need to do so I'm wondering how this fits into the game and if you miss things does it affect the story and where did it go and what happens if you don't do such and such a thing does this not does this like cut off storylines with this person and what have you it's interesting i don't know it could also just be very artificial i don't know but it, from what i played i really enjoyed it um and you I said it's actually, like life is strange because i love get, life I'm, is strange i'm getting life is strange vibes from it yes it, it i mean it looks a bit it's very similar kind of aesthetic um okay. it doesn't necessarily play like life is strange but i that i'm, I'm telling you now i'm getting life is strange vibes from it like the way is it the, the story can pan out sort of thing of what what you were doing with the story and how it's going it's, it's like i say you're effectively a postman a post person and you are going around just delivering mail but it's kind of just fun just driving around this big old lake and this little little town just driving around just taking mail to people having a chat with them asking about the day and what have you it's, it's a nice very cool little game and it's it is literally a demo at the minute it's out in september um but that is all it's been for me i'd like to say i played some a handful of demos and ratchet and clank that has been my week excellent have you been streaming this week ratchet and clank and did some um, of the demos <laughs> that's all i've done excellent. Fair enough. that is all i've done i've, I've downloaded well, I've, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm on about a dozen games now on game pass <laughs> <That's Google. laughs> yeah i'll chuck it on why not the medium. I, I, I heard it was all right. That's on Game Pass. Yeah, just chuck it on. Why not? I'm just chucking games on for fun now until it, until it fills up and then I'll just start to start deleting stuff. But yeah, it's it's, it's fun just, just whacking games on and just deleting them after 20 minutes if you, if you don't like them. Why not? Why not? Exactly. It's on Game Pass. You bunch of monsters. They do take things off Game Pass though, don't they? They do. They do. Okay. If you, there, is a, there is a tab on, in the Game Pass system that says leaving soon. So... If you if you are interested in seeing games that are leaving soon, then there, there's a there is a way of doing that. Do they ever bring them back? Probably not, but they do no. tend to give you some a, games give, do come back. Some games probably is do. it similar to like the Xbox Games with Gold thing, where if you've got them downloaded and they're taken off Game Pass, do you get to keep no. them? Or is no, no, we lost access to uh. City Skylines, and uh, Ollie was really upset, but it came back. After like that's right, they so. did, didn't they? Yeah, they did get a new deal for it. I think. I think they have like certain like length of deals, that, but but they do then mm. tend to offer you a discounted price on the game usually or something. Like that. There's normally like a deal on it, so you can get it for a certain price off, maybe or something like that to buy it outright. So there you go. Well, you should have told me that before you made me buy Xboxes this week. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's my fault. I again. regret everything. That is your fault. It's you really not. aren't taking your responsibilities seriously, and I'm very disappointed in you. But we will wrap up this podcast there. Um, don't forget, boys and girls, as ever, you can follow us on the social media places um, at MG UK Podcast for the podcast, where Sheepdog is committed to tweet twice a day from there for the next week with interesting <laughs> snippets. Um, you can also follow me at Lelujo. You can find me at Sheepdog Six K everywhere, and remember, I'm doing a eight hour stream tomorrow, ten till six. Eight hours? Twitch. Why? Yeah, because I'm bored and Claire's painting. I don't want to help. That's mean. <laughs> it's true though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fair enough. Anna, this is where you tell people. I'm a misleader. I'm sorry. I just I was flabbergasted by what he said. I miss the <laughs> show everywhere. And I'm at Pab1986 on Twitter and Twitch. Splendid. Well, on that note, boys and girls, we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening, folks. Bye -bye. <laughs> Done it the wrong way around. Well done, Have a good done. week. <laughs> what is happening? All, it's all gone wrong. Restart the podcast. <laughs>